from your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. All right, we're looking out towards our heat advisories. These will continue till 7 o'clock tonight. Definitely an afternoon and early evening to take it slow and easy out there. Heat and disease could be between 100 and 105. We've already had several 103, 104, 5 heat indexes already this morning. So a reminder that we're already heating up and we're not even into the part of the daytime heating as it is. So again, these numbers could go up another 3 to 6 degrees as before it's all said and done. Records will keep an eye on that. I know we've been getting close to them the last couple afternoons. Of course, we'll have more on those evening newscasts as well. A couple degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday about this time, but the humidity is just downright oppressive out there. Just let you know you pretty much as like to call you kind of the air you wear and the air is just so thick you just kind of walk out to it and it kind of put you on your layer, right? New Bern 93 degrees at 103 feels like temperature in your neck of the woods. The Noose River there. Oh, look at this glimpsing water. There's some folks on the boats under the bridge, so they're making I think if you're the idea to be under shade. That's where you need to be today or AC if you're working outdoors take breaks. Not much rain falling from anywhere which across eastern Carolina, which is nice. We're quiet here in the Midwest regions, but again, this is very unorganized. This is disorganized rather not going to be developing to anything anytime soon, which is the good thing. Locally quiet to tropical level. We are good to go on the home front, but again, mid 90s this afternoon, even going towards midnight, feeling like the upper 70s and lower 80s out there. It's going to feel a little more tropical feel, at least through portions of Monday. We have a cold front here. It's going to sneak in our area dropping the humidity levels as well as our as our temperatures too. So we have some much needed relief coming in play. Now again, the rest of the afternoon, don't get excited about rain chances. Tomorrow we got to keep an eye on a few of them. Those could prop, uh, potentially interrupt some Friday night football games here. And then again, things will slowly kind of go quieting down as we go towards this, uh, later in the week about your typical pop and go showers and storms. And again, if you're heading out to the game on Saturday, pack an umbrella gear, but don't cancel your plans for the holiday weekend.